Welcome to this week's newscast. I'm Connor and this is Ethan. Last week, Rockwell students competed against each other in a heated game of Family Feud. Congrats to the Beret family who won the high school rounds and the Twirly family who won the junior high rounds. This Saturday is homecoming. The theme is Harry Potter, semi-formal dress. Here is Colby and Ethan for some Harry Potter trivia. Ron Never seen a single Harry Potter movie. Huh? Ron and something. It's Ron and something. Yeah, there Ron is Ron and Weasley. Weasley. Ron and Weasley. That's their name. I mean, there's five of them, but okay. okay. Just Got make it. up names for them. Ron, Ron Weasley, <laughs> Stephen, Jorge, and Pablo. <laughs> Close. Okay. It's uh, Fred Weasley, George Weasley, Ron Weasley, Gingy Weasley, Bill Weasley, and Percy Weasley. I was pretty close. Can you name all the Weasleys? No. There are six of them. Let's see you try. Ron. Correct? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. His name? Yeah. yeah. Legolas. <laughs> no, his name's Dobby. <laughs> it's himself in Harry Potter. Dobby. You are Crab and Goyle. Well, Mr. Krabs is, works the Crab Shack down in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Who's the other guy? <laughs> Goyle. Goyle? I don't know who Goyle is. Okay, they are Malfoy's buddies. Okay. Okay. Uh, movies, I hate books. Definitely the books. Okay. Movies. <laughs> okay. What is my house? Yeah, like in Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Uh, Hufflepuff. I'm a Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the, what's the... Gryffindor. Yeah, that one. Gryffindor. <laughs> okay. Need help asking that special someone this week? The Rockwell News Team has got your back. Stick around for Homecoming for Dummies. Hotline, how may we help you? My homecoming date hates me. I need help. Okay, well tell me what happened. Well, I asked her with a poster I made. <laughs> then we got wings. I don't think she wanted any. Hey, lovebirds, what can I get for you guys? Today? Um, I'll get a large wing. Extra large. Aiden, for you? Um, I would like. She'll just have water. She's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. You can hurry up on those wings, though. Okay. Here are these. And I thought you might be hungry, so I'll buy you some too. Thank you. Enjoy. Are you going to eat those? Not anymore. No, oh, God. <laughs> and then when we got to the dance, she wouldn't dance with me. Well, here's some tips for a better homecoming. Make sure to ask her in a creative way and go up to the door. That way she'll have to say yes. Dad, you wanna go homecoming with me? Sure. Hey, you love words. What can I get for you guys today? Um, you can go first. Get whatever um, you want. I'll just have some And I'll get the same. All right, cool. When you're at Thanks dinner, so make sure to be a gentleman. Let her order her food first and don't eat There's her food. For you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
And now for our favorite segment, Keeping It Real, Coach Parker. Please don't slip on the ice. It's horrible when you slip. It might crack your back butt. <laughs> yo, 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 we have a special video for you. We have a teacher rap battle with Heisey and Young. Vote for your favorite Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and tune in to your next week's newscast to see you won. And now for epic rap battles of Rockwell. Right here we have Mr. Heisey, and right here we have Mr. Young. Let's get this thing going. Young, your words are like dung. Go fix a monitor. Is that a conifer? Even my dreadful attention span is more of a man. Ain't nothing but a guarantee, baby, that today we shall see who is the trainee to me. Maybe you obey me. It's been nice. It's been fun. I gotta get back to class before Mr. Beck kicketh my butt. I'll call you Nancy because you ain't fancy, you chimpanzee. What the hell is this thing standing here? A Wookiee wearing glasses trying to be teacher of the year. You teach financial lit. I teach game design. You play with checkbooks, I play Ocarina of Time. All right, all right, Mr. Young, I'm ready. I've thrown up my mom's spaghetti. Your rap is no thready. Your words are like turds coming out of some birds. You can't catch me, I'm the rap nerd. While you're teaching budgets, I'm discussing GTA and revealing Mass Effect and branching story games. Get off your computer and go to my streets. Learn some beats and stop playing with your spreadsheets. You look like Hagger got a haircut for the Yule Ball. Which of us is packing heat, mac and tweets? You better not be slacking and fix my wireless. It's cracking, it's in crisis, it's broke. You may be funny, but your classes aren't fun at all. Don't provoke me, I'll put you in detention as quick as a jet engine. The bare mention of me gives people tension. There, there is one thing that we can both agree, is when it comes to surfing, you wipe out better than me. Spoiler alert to your native studies class, it's my manifest destiny to whoop your ass. Next, we have sports with Chandler and Isaac. Basketball plays at Altamont today. Sophomore starts at 4, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Be sure to come join us to support the team as they play Providence Hall at home Wednesday the 12th. Our Lady Marshals played two games this week. On Monday, they played against UMA Lehigh, and on Tuesday, they played Spanish Fork. Check out this video edited by Cassidy. to Ethan and Connor. Continuing on, we have our question of the week. Christmas every year, me and my family go out and we, each of my siblings, we get our own special ornaments and we put them on the tree. And then when my mom is older and we're all grown up, she's gonna put all the special ornaments on her tree. Um, I guess waking up and going downstairs and opening my stocking in the morning. Putting my dog in Christmas sweaters. So every Christmas Eve, we have these like little 
rolled up things that look like giant Tootsie Rolls and then we like cross our arms and pull it. And then you go like three, two, one and we all pull it and then there's a little treat inside and the treat to your left is the one that you get. And then it's like a little, it's either a little snack or like a little wind up car or goodie or stuff. It's, it's awesome, I love it, it's great. Happy New Year, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah. Love all you guys. I'm eating pizza by the tree. Putting up the tree, I guess. Play board games every Christmas before on Christmas Eve. My favorite holiday tradition is going snowmobiling with my aunt on New Year's Eve. So, Ethan, what's one of your favorite holiday traditions? So, usually around Christmas time, we usually just set up the tree and then have like a little like picnic, I guess you'd call it, which is mm -hmm. with boxes of pizza. It's yeah. Wait, what's your favorite type of pizza? Just. Pepperoni pizza, pepperoni just pizza. classic, nice. classic pizza. Uh, a lot of people hate me for this. Pineapple part. on pizza is gross. Don't ah, do it. That's that is thing. a sin. I love pineapple that on pizza. That is a sin. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. No. It is no, really good. That's bad. It is okay. really good. Have you tried it? Yes, it's disgusting. You no, didn't like okay. it? Wait, where did you have it from? Little Caesars. Okay. Little Caesars. <laughs> right. Miss Poliarchy is our teacher of the week. Let's get to know her a little bit better. Poliarchy. Uh, Leha Oli. <laughs> cool. What do you teach? I teach business classes. Oh, cool. What kind of uh, like business? Just like any business? Um, so we have marketing, uh, business, uh, no, accounting, and leadership, and entrepreneurship. So we have four business classes. Yeah. What made you want to come work at Rockwell? Uh, well, <laughs> first of all, I was looking for a job, <laughs> and Rockwell was the only one looking um, for teachers, so I was fortunate enough to, um, yeah, to be hired, so I'm here. Sweet. What is your favorite color? I love blue and yellow. What's <laughs> um, another question? Have you always wanted to work with kids? Um, love kids. Love, well, yeah, Ray and Robert, yep. the cool kids, <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I do. Sweet. Um, oh, uh, how did you find Rockwell? I was, there's a website where teachers go to um, to find job or to post jobs. So I was on it 24-7 because I needed, I needed um, to use the talents. I feel like teaching is a talent to me, so I'm on it 24-7 and Rockwell pop up and I'm like, this is it. <laughs> do you like working here? I do. You, like you know what, one thing that makes me um, love working here is the principal, he he's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. He's cool. He's great. We love him. <laughs> we love him a lot. <laughs> what sports do you enjoy? All of them. <laughs> I'm the loudest fan ever. <laughs> I love all of them. <laughs> Have you gone to any of the games? Oh yeah. <laughs> Are yes. you gonna be at the girls' game tonight? I want to. <laughs> you better be. I think. I think I should be. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we have current events. On November 30th, 2018, former President George H.W. Bush passed away. He was surrounded by his friends and family. At a Cleveland radio station, the song Baby It's Cold Outside was banned because it talks about sexual assault. This Saturday, there is a march for Prop 2 in Salt Lake. They are marching from the conference center to the Capitol building. The state of Utah and the LDS Church met to make a compromise on Prop 2 that was passed during the midterm elections. Compromise resulted in medical marijuana being harder for Utahns to get. Now back to Connor and Ethan. Thanks, Marshalls. Have, have a great day. day.